morning, everyone. I've read the book, The Purpose Driven Life, and I'm about to start rereading it. And I found an empty journal that my sister had. And I've filled out just like the first couple pages. And I'll admit it, I was creative. And I was like, God, tell me my purpose. I closed my eyes and I drew. I added the face after, but I drew a little angel with wings. So an angel is a natural or supernatural messenger of God. So technically, any Christian that believes in God and works for him, which is what you do when you sign up to be a Christian, is an angel. If they're doing their job as a messenger of God, which I hope I am. Because I felt like my mom and sister were two earth angels. They were amazing ladies, prayer warriors to the end. They battled cancer. And both of their very last prayers were God's will be done. All the way. All the way battling through hospice, through not being able to eat, through my mom going into a weak end of life like coma state before her body released her spirit to the Lord. And my sister was just eating a grape a day, skin and bones, before she went to the Lord. And they both had faith. They both never complained, like Job, when going through so many hard things, except they were sick, they were ill, and they still didn't complain. And I'm proud to believe in God. And I'm proud that I also found out the name Ripstein, which was my mom's maiden name, was on a list of at a Holocaust camp. So most likely my mom's parent, my mom's dad comes from Holocaust survivors. And then also my dad's great, great, great grandma was uh, full blooded Cherokee. So I have both Jewish and Cherokee blood in me. And, you know, technically the world tried to genocide some of my ancestors twice. So I know God has me here for a reason. I know God had my parents here for a reason. And my brother, my sister, and everyone else who's in that same predicament. But it's sad when people get so angry at groups of people that they actually go in to try and be violent or hate and kill others. Like right now with what's going on with society against whatever they don't understand and then they hate it everyone quit hating show love and kindness and if you're a christian do not use god's name for your hate you can use it for your love and acceptance and encouragement and support of others but god is love so quit using god's name for political reasons if you're not a Christian. And if you are a Christian and you're using God's name for hate of another group of people, stop. How about that?